hello guys welcome back to my channel um i'm going to do an energy reading for uh blackpink's lisa uh since her uh upcoming uh solo project i believe is coming out uh soon um, at least this is why what people says uh, that they want a reading on this uh, subject so let's see what the cards have to say about this um I already done uh, other individual readings for Lisa, so I know a bit about her energy. I know that she is an, an airy sign with the moon in Scorpio, and she is a very energetic person and very deep, also very, very. Um, she has a lot of fire in her soul. This is why she is uh, able to be so impactful and memorable for a lot of people that uh, just admire her her stage presence and everything that she delivers on stage it comes from a place of a lot of passion and a lot of expression of who she is of her uh, own intensity so i think that uh there definitely there's a lot of authenticity in lisa and also a lot of um a lot of uh, inner desire to actually be able to show his her emotions and to be able to express uh, that part, that very sensitive part of herself in a very powerful way. I think that um, she has a lot of uh, a lot of a strong placement. So uh, you know that a moon in Scorpio is always a very complex uh, kind of placement when it comes to your emotional nature or emotional world. And if we have to add to that that she is an Aries, probably she has a lot of moments of feeling really frustrated with herself or actually feeling a bit misunderstood uh, a lot of the times and probably like uh, she feels may probably she finds a bit out of place sometimes and I don't think that actually this means I don't know for example in the case of her being part of a group it's not that the fact that she is from a different country it's not about that it's actually her own um, her her own soul journey uh, that has a lot of deepness and has a lot of complexity that not a lot of people will ever get to understand or probably get to know because uh, a moon in Scorpio is always very secretive and and when you have a moon in Scorpio you need to do a lot of inner work and it's very deep and it's very profound and sometimes it, it can be a bit lonely and it can be a bit uh, draining uh, but it's worth it. It's worth it to go through the transformation. Um, but sometimes it's uh, it's very solitary work and it's something very personal and it's something very intimate. I think that if we think about uh, Scorpio energy, it's always about intimacy. And the, when you have a moon in Scorpio, it's all about intimacy with yourself. So uh, it's not something that others can provide for her. It's something that she needs to do on her own and by herself. It's something very personal. It's about uh, her own deepness. So and, and her being an Aries, sometimes it, it can be... Uh, a bit like uh, these two energy Aries and Scorpio are very powerful, uh, are very strong and are very uh, energetic. But at the same time, Aries people, Aries Sun people, um, they they always are very frontal, very straightforward, very blunt about what they want and about what how to go after what they want. And they are the initiators of the zodiac. They just go after what they want. They don't. They sometimes uh, lack a bit of mystery, or probably a bit of uh, like, um, like uh, suspense, because it's like they are. You can read them like a book. They are, are actually very expressive, and they are very vocal about how they feel. So probably for her to be. A moon in Scorpio to have all this complexity inside of her and being an Aries, it would it's an interesting mix of feelings because it's like from one part she wants to stay on the low key, being a bit like uh, reserved, and on the other side she she has this Aries kind of 
very sociable, very on the open kind of energy so that she is like like an, a child, you know, like very honest and very uh, very expressive. It, it's like it's hard for her to keep like a poker face because she is actually, you can tell by by her gestures how she really feels. But sometimes when you are a moon in Scorpio, sometimes you, especially when you're going through some kind of uh, uh, very emotional moments or very traumatic moments, you want to hide. You want to hide these feelings and you do not want to talk about it. You do not want anyone to know about it. So probably she will, she, she has like this kind of a struggle where she doesn't know how much she can reveal about herself and how much... Uh, she can actually show um, because when you have a moon in Scorpio sometimes what happens is that uh, there's something about uh, betray, betrayal and there's something about uh, being distrustful all, also and I think that her, for herself being actually an Aries maybe she's very open and generous to others and at the same time she it's like she she's not very cautious when it comes to sh how much she shares, and that can lead to situations where where people like uh, overstep their boundaries with her, or or probably like betray her, or try to do something not so nice to her because it's like she's very open, so and she's also very loyal, so it could lead to her going through a lot of disappointments but then as she grows older she will realize that 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 moon scorpio that she has actually is going to to give her through the intuition that she has and the perception and the the profoundness of being a moon scorpio it allows you to see beyond to see other people's intentions um and to be she will become a bit more reserved because uh, life experiences are going to mold her, are going to teach her that there are some things that that she needs to keep to herself. That sometimes being too spontaneous or sometimes being too open to people can, especially in the industry where she works, can uh, just turn her into... Uh, a victim of of people that have really mean intentions and that are are robbers or are thieves. So you have to be really careful. You have to be selective. You have to, if you have a Scorpio energy in your birth chart, you are very lucky because you need to have that kind of insight. You need to have that kind of perception to see and to kind of observe everyone's move in order for you to in, to be intuitive enough to see what they are about. Because Scorpio moons always know. When they smell something fishy, it is like this. But for example, in her case, since she is an Aries, probably there are some aspects of people that she cares about that she finds a bit uh, questionable or that she finds a bit off. But probably she doesn't say anything because she loves these people. But with time, she will have to learn to be a bit more selective about who she plays her trust in. Because not everyone is worth of her trust and of her love and of her loyalty. So she needs to look at people straight in the eye and just let them know that she sees who these people are, that she, she's, she's watching them, that she's observing their intentions. And that perhaps in... In, in in other times in the past, maybe she she like decided to ignore the signs, you know, ignore the red flags or ignore the the, the evidence. But it's like uh, after you you are betrayed so many times, it's like you have to open your eyes. You don't have other choice because people like this, you will encounter them everywhere. So you need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself because they will be they, they come out of nowhere. They are like hiding in the shadows, like vampires. You know, they are ready to to feed off people that have good will and good intentions. So they she needs to take care of herself. Um so let's go with uh, about this possible uh solo of her solo project. She got um the tower the Queen of Swords, 
the Hierophant, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. And then I got one card of the Energy Oracle, that is the card of Community, that I will explain later. Uh, so let's go with the Tarot cards. Um, here with the Tower moment, I have a feeling that uh, she had lately gone through a transformation or um, some uh, some sudden changes and very like strong changes uh, uh, had been developing like in the next in the in the prior months and I think that she had made a lot of requests or very strong or, or had very strong opinions and conversations about how she wants to deliver this new solo. Uh, I think that she has become more like strong stronger in the sense that she had put her her foot down and she's like, okay, listen to me, I have a few request i want this to be this way i want this to to do this and um and and suddenly i think that also there are a lot of uh relationships that she had with people that she used to work with that are going through a transformation probably she she also did some kind of purge in the sense that she could probably eliminate uh, in the past, in the in the last few months, a few friendships or a few acquaintances, because I think that she is going through a moment when she wants to be true to herself, when she wants to own her power, when she doesn't want to be a victim of her circumstances, and she's looking straight at the company with here with the Harry Fund. Uh, I think that also there's something, I don't know, I, I always smell something really, whenever I do readings for YG uh, artists, I always smell that this company is, is about to go down. Something is going to come out of that company. I don't know why they are pushing it so much, but eventually it will come out. People will find out. I don't know exactly what it is, but it needs to be uh, known. Um... So she's looking at the company or she's looking at the management uh, and being like, okay, I have a few requests. I want to do these things. I want to, um, she's been really uh, upfront about it. She's been really honest, uh, very sharp also, very like uh, without hesitation, without sugar coating things, just a straight truth and facts. I think that she is is in her power. Uh, I think that she, for her, probably I think that for her this um, uh, this project, this solo project, means a lot to her. Uh, she is someone that she is not someone that if she does something, she commits one hundred and ten percent or one hundred and twenty percent. She is not someone that just goes and shows up and that's an average delivery. She is someone that puts all the effort, all the all the passion, all all the all the energy. She really pours a part of her soul into everything that she does. So this is why we can see whenever we watch some material of her, we definitely can see it for our screens and the the, 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 the level of energies. Um that she exudes uh, and she's also very like very um, uh, intimidating when she gets upset i wouldn't want to be her enemy because she's really in she doesn't get upset that often but when she does oh my god um so and so the company will will agree actually had agreed to the request that she has had um, but there's something about them that they don't play fair there's something always a trick because here with the seven of swords there's obviously something they are going to like not do or probably forget you know unintentional forget that intentionally forget something important for this release and, and and i don't know why uh is there like some kind of 
information leaked about the solo like or something like that because since its source it could also talk about the internet like them li linking the video or linking a part of the song or something like that like, like that them like some information being leaked because yes i see like something fishy happening in there you know like being like okay we will give you what you're asking us uh but at the same time we will let you know who is the boss here so obviously there's something about them trying to um assert their own dominion like being like okay yes we we, we are listening to you uh but we think that you are too confident like you know like them actually showing her who is the boss uh so which is really unfortunate because i think that uh um actually she is if she is this way is because she had experienced a lot of disappointments uh when it comes to this company and the people around her because i think that the people that have betrayed her in the past are all uh people that work for the company so you know people that work in the company is a reflection of the company's values so it's like um um it's like uh if she had ever had someone that i think that it was her manager or someone that that uh that stole money from her or something like that i i don't know the details but you know if you have those kinds of individuals working for you and in in a position of of power and authority and always that and and sometimes i think that the most awful uh, awful uh, side of that that thing that event that happened to her is that she really trusted this person so like that's i think that that's the most like her breaking fact about because I don't think that Lisa cared actually about the money she cared actually about the actions coming from a person that she she placed her trust in you know so and I think that that this company keeps doing this to her you know like like being like okay we will uh we will like uh promote you we will do everything right but then probably we will miss something you know something will be left and on the way so yes and that actually will make her like stumble a bit you know like being a bit like observant and being a bit like feeling a bit unstable actually and not knowing who to trust and actually feeling a bit disappointed and also feeling like she has to work uh, the double uh, in order to maintain a certain stability or perhaps just pretending uh, in front of the audience or in front of fans that she is not bothered by that small mistake or that um, incident. It's like she will, she will try to balance things or she will try to adapt herself to, to whatever uh, event shows up, you know. But yes, there's there's like this. Uh, these people are really deceiving. Um, this company is really deceiving, really. Um, and and actually, what I love about her actually is that she had been going through a lot of periods of transformation where she actually had been able to recognize. Uh, who is who because like i was saying she does have the potential to be uh, very assertive when it comes to her intuition she can be right her intuition is really strong but for some reason she wasn't paying attention to her intuition she was like blocking it and now after all these uh, disappointments that she had she had like finally opened her eyes and I think that in her case, it's like the fear eye chakra, something like that. She had finally opened her intuition. She had finally allowed herself to follow her intuitions. I think that there's an aspect of her that actually she fears her intuition because uh, sometimes 
when you are too intuitive, sometimes you are afraid of knowing things or, or feeling things that you don't understand how you know them. So um, since she is always trying to be very energetic and very on a good mood and she's trying to just take life uh, the way it is, I think that for her to be uh to be intuitive maybe it's it's a bit scary so this is why she wasn't paying attention but now she's grown now she's more mature now she had she got, she had regretted a lot of things she had uh suffered for a lot of uh situations and now she's stronger now she's this queen of swords it's like she's not forgiven anymore She's not uh she's not that cute innocent girl anymore. She is like a businesswoman. She's like a queen. She's going to tell you things the way they are and she's going to come at you in with that uh with that um essence of of power, you know, of being like, Yes, I, I know I know I'm 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 amazing and I know that um I can create great things for myself and I know that I am good. I just need you to, to also do your part, you know, because she can bring good ideas. But if the company doesn't support her or doesn't promote her enough, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like material or, or create creativity going to waste. So... And here with the community that is the card from the Oracle of Energies, um, I think that um, um, I think that definitely uh, I see blinks moving a lot uh, to make things happen for Lisa. Uh, I see a lot of support coming from the fandoms and coming from people that love her work. Uh, I see most most efforts and most um, like work and support coming from these people, coming from the 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 members, from Blackpink members, from the fandom, and from other artists that are fans of Lisa. Uh, but I actually I don't see uh, I don't see the company actually doing much for Lisa. I see them like doing the average. But I think that it will be like, uh, because since this is the car of community, I see a lot of people gathering efforts in order to make her her solo or her project uh, known and very well received and, and, and very publicized. Um, so uh, I think that if, uh, if it is a success or if it, it gets like a very... Uh, big exposure and, and a big like a publicity I think that it will have to do with the fandom uh, and with people that care for Lisa because I don't see the company actually doing much I see them like doing the minimum you know and and probably like there's like they are going to do some kind of if you see something that that unexpectedly some something is leaked on the internet or something about Lisa before the solo is released is probably the company that is selling it because there's something about them that they just I don't know why but I think that there's something about these girls that definitely they do not want them to to grow they do not want them to grow uh, beyond their limits they are like no you're stuck here with us and you will grow if we say so you know which I think that is very is very it's evil it's evil um, this is why I think that this company actually doesn't have a lot of um, I think that something is going to happen to that, to that uh, company and I think that she's also aware of this there's something that is falling apart there are a lot of a lot of masks and a lot of deceiving people and a lot of um, a lot of liars, a lot of cheaters, a lot of evil people in there that are going to fall. They are going to fall. They are going to face the consequences, but uh, I, they are hiding it pretty well because nothing has come out yet. 
uh, but but it will eventually the truth eventually will come out so this is all i have for this guys i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a like and if you want to share it with other blinks or other uh, Lisa supporters, I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for for your feedback and for always uh, giving me recommendations. I will see you in the next video. Bye.